चलने में भी बढ़िया है और गियर भी नहीं लगाना पड़ता हमारे को और इसमें हमारे को चलाने में बहुत आसान है इन द लास्ट फिफ्टी ईयर्स इंडियाज जी डी पी हैज ग्रोन लाइक दिस द नंबर ऑफ ट्रक्स इन इंडिया हैज ग्रोन लाइक दिस एंड दिस इज वॉट आर रोड ट्रांसपोर्ट इमिशन लुक लाइक इन द नेक्स्ट फिफ्टी ईयर्स द पॉपुलेशन ऑफ ट्रक्स इज एक्सपेक्टेड टू क्वाड्रुपल जी डी पी प्रोजेक्शन आर लुकिंग ग्रेट बट वी रियली नीड टू फाइंड अ वे टू ब्रिंक डाउन आर इमिशन ओवर द पास्ट डेकेट वी विटनेस इलेक्ट्रिक स्कूटर्स इलेक्ट्रिक ऑटो रिक्शाज इलेक्ट्रिक कार्स एंड इलेक्ट्रिक बसेज बट सम हाउ वी येट टू सी इलेक्ट्रिक ट्रक्स वेर आर द इलेक्ट्रिक ट्रक्स लेट्स फाइंड आउट ICCT is a think tank that provides expert analysis on transportation policies. According to one of their recent studies, India cannot reach net zero by 2070 unless we electrify our entire motor vehicle fleet by 2050. But why electric? The overall efficiency of the electric powertrain is close to 90%. Whereas for the conventional vehicles, this overall efficiency is always close to 30%. so this difference in efficiency translates into uh, emissions lot of emissions in case of the uh, ice uh, trucks electric trucks also use very low less number of moving parts so the maintenance cost of the electric trucks is also close to one third of that of the uh, diesel variants cool electric vehicles are more efficient and pollute less but they are still using electricity that comes from coal power plants so are they really better than diesel Each day India is shifting towards more and more renewable energy. If you buy an electric truck, each year the grid grid gets cleaner, the emissions keep on reducing. While with a diesel truck you are locked with those emissions. This is the Sanjay Gandhi Transport Nagar in Delhi. Thousands of trucks come here every day for repairs, loading and unloading. we spoke to a few truck owners about when we might get to see electric trucks in india we electric truck ke bare mein suna hai dekhe bhi kaam kar rahe hain but abhi properly nahi aa sakenge abhi electric truck jo chal rahe hain wo 50 km ke area mein chal rahe hain jahan honge khud ke malik ka power station hai jahan charging ho rahi hai but lambe route pe abhi nahi hai right now the best electric trucks in the world have a maximum one charge range of about 300 km There's a variety of fast charging and battery swapping options available but until these come up on major highways at regular intervals long haul freight trips look like they will continue running on diesel What about short trips though This is a 55 ton electric truck manufactured by IPL Tech Electric and operated by Switch Labs It has been running a fixed route every day in Rajasthan for over a year and we spoke to anish the ceo price of electricity versus price of diesel the per per kilometer cost is approximately 1 by 3 in case of electric trucks providing incentives that can bring the cost of these trucks down that will be helpful because right now the cost of electric truck is 2.5x of its diesel counterpart experts recommend five policies to our government that can speed up this transition target set the vision like india's goal of net zero by 2070 if the government clearly says that hey all our trucks have to be electric by 2050 it will inspire a lot more people to start investing in the manufacturing of electric trucks right now most of india's major truck manufacturers don't even sell long haul electric trucks supply side regulations are legally binding rules for current truck manufacturers Switching generational technology like this can be super expensive for the manufacturer. There needs to be a little pressure from the government or the manufacturers to ensure that they don't delay this expensive investment for too long. Charging infrastructure is the backbone of electric mobility. As we focus on policies for electric trucks, it is important that the charging infrastructure part of the ecosystem is not left behind. US introduced this year its national zero emission freight strategy. which is a great framework to ensure how your freight corridors are ready with uh, the refueling infrastructure for electric trucks in the near term and the long term 
India also needs such a clear strategy and a roadmap for charging infrastructure, starting with some of the major freight corridors in India and then expanding to uh, most of the freight corridors in India so that this charging infrastructure, the range anxiety does not become a problem. By simply waiving toll charge on electric trucks, for example, many more people are likely to consider buying an electric truck. Purchase subsidies, tax waivers, priority access. There's many benefits like this that the government can offer. And last, we have demand side regulations. Trucks on construction sites or trucks running inside logistic hubs can be electric from tomorrow because they can easily build their own charging infrastructure. But electric trucks are 2.5 times more expensive than diesel ones right now. So again, unless the government puts a little pressure, people are going to wait longer to invest in electric trucks. By increasing demand like this, the government also ensures that manufacturers see enough profit to start scaling up. There's one last paper by ICCT that's worth discussing. Many of the world's most polluted cities are in India. And 75,000 deaths each year can be attributed to just transport vehicle exhausts. So for example, if you ask a lot of people who live in and around Delhi, especially in the winters, a lot of expenditure goes into treating issues like asthma, cough, and those kind of things. And then we also have to understand a lot of people who reside in our cities, reside on major roads, a lot of them are probably from the lower income strata. So they may not have access to good healthcare infrastructure. So shifting to Z-emission trucking, Z-emission vehicles is also a win-win for them. Earlier this year, the Ministry of Heavy Industries set up an EV task force on developing the roadmap for electric trucks. In September 2024, the cabinet approved the PM e-drive scheme with rupees 500 crores specifically earmarked for incentivizing e-trucks in India. With this, we look forward to a more energy-efficient, electrified future for trucks in India. <laughs>